graphing circles. In this lesson, we're going to graph equations for circles in standard form, and this is the standard form of the equation of a circle. We are going to graph an equation for a circle without a graphing calculator, then with a graphing calculator, then we'll finish by working some potential test problems. In this standard form of a circle equation, x and y are the variables. r is the constant that stands for radius and is the number that determines the size of the circle. h is the constant that shifts the circle left or right from the origin at x equals zero. And k is the constant that shifts the circle up or down from y equals zero. Let's look at this equation, x minus two quantity squared plus y plus three quantity squared equals 81. Now be honest with yourself, does this look like an easy equation to graph? Equations are always easier to graph if you get the dependent variable by itself. And a good first step is to subtract the quantity x minus two squared expression from both sides of the equation, which we can do by moving that expression over to the other side of the equal sign and changing its sign as we go over to the other side of the equal sign. And here we now have quantity y plus three squared isolated on the left side of the equation. Our next step is to take the square root of both sides of the equation. That leaves us with y plus three equals plus and minus the square root of 81 minus x minus two quantity squared. And finally, to solve for y, we have to get rid of the three on the left side of the equation, and we're left with y equals plus or minus 81 minus quantity x minus two squared under the radical sign, and then subtract three from that. We can use the two functions, one is a plus and one is minus, to fill out a table of points to be plotted. For x equals two, we simply have to s the square root of 81, which is nine, minus three, or six, for one y coordinate and negative nine minus three or negative 12 for our other y coordinate when x equals two. For x equals five, we get y one equal to about 5.5 and for y two, we get about negative 11.5. For x equals 11, we plug in 11 and get a y one of negative three and a y two also of negative three. For x equals negative seven, we plug in negative seven for x and get a y one of negative three and a y2 also of negative three. If we had solved for inputs greater than 11 or less than negative seven, we would have had a non-real answer error message for trying to find the square root of a negative number. We can now plot these points on a coordinate plane, which we've done here in blue. We can use the points to draw in our circle. We see this circle fitting very nicely. In a graphing calculator, we can place the points the plus and minus equations in y1 and in y2, and then we can press graph to see it graphed. A standard window makes it look like an ellipse. If you go to zoom square or zoom five, it adjusts the window to make x and y values proportional. Also notice that the ends of the circle are not closed due to screen resolution limitations. One way we can graph without having to solve for y is to use the Conics application on the TI-84 Plus and TI-84 Plus Silver Edition graphing calculators. We get to this application by pressing the purple apps key. From here we can scroll down to the Conics application, number five in my calculator, then press enter. We see the four types of conic sections here. Since circle is the first one, press enter. We here see the standard form of the equation of circle. I hope that this looks familiar to you. Press enter again. We see the values of H, K, and R as input values. Let's try to emulate the circle we already graphed that was shifted two units to the right and three units down and had a radius of nine units. That would be an H of two, a K of negative three, and a radius or R of nine. Press graph we see our circle identical to the one we graphed earlier. To check out the points on the circle, press the trace key, then arrow around the circle to check er earlier answers, and we see here one of the points we calculated earlier, uh, negative two comma six at the top of the circle. Let's try a problem. The graph of the equation quantity x plus three squared plus y squared equals 25 is shown below. What would be the new equation if the center were shifted three units up and two units to the right? 
First thing it would help to know is the center of the circle we're looking at first. We mark the center of this circle at negative 3 comma 0. Then we can move that point three units up and two units to the right as we read in the text of the problem. We should see that the point, the new point, is at negative 1 comma 3. If we can just remember that x minus a number shifts the circle to the right and x plus a number shifts the circle to the left, it will help us a lot. Since it's 1 to the left of the y-axis, we can eliminate answers A and D. And to shift the circle up 3 units from the x-axis, we need to have y minus 3, which gives us our correct answer, B. We can also go to conics on the graphing calculator. If we enter an h value of negative 1, a k value of 3, and a radius of 5 here, this is what we get when we graph it. We get the same center of the circle we found earlier, again confirming b is our correct answer. Let's try another problem. Which equation corresponds to the graph below? Stop the video, solve the problem, and restart to see if your answer is correct. The first thing I would do is locate the center of the circle, and here it is at 3, 4. If we can remember that x minus a number shifts the center to the right, and y minus a number shifts the center upward, we have all we need to solve the problem. It's going to be x minus 3 and y minus 4. So here, d is our correct answer. We can go to the conics application in the calculator and enter 3 for h, 4 for y, and 6 for the radius. And when we graph it, this is what we get, which matches up really well for the answer d. Always remember, x minus a number moves the center to the right, while x plus a number moves it to the left. Also remember that y minus a number moves the center upward, while y plus a number moves the center downward. This has been Graphing Circles. Thanks for viewing.